Hi! So today I'm doing a book review of The Now of Brown by Glyn Dillon. This is a graphic novel set in England. It's a story of a woman called Now and she refers herself to as a hafu, which means she's half Japanese and half English. She is an artist who at the beginning of the novel meets up with a friend that she hasn't seen in a while and she gets a job in his toy store but it's not a regular toy store it's a store that has Japanese and more interesting toys. The story centers around now and her OCD and the issues she has, her psychological state of mind and how these issues affect her day-to-day -day life. At the beginning of the book after she gets the job with her friend Steve, she starts dating this man Gregory who is a washing machine repairman. I don't want to say anything else because I don't want to spoil the book for you, but I'm going to jump right into my book review and then after this, after my book review, I'm going to have a spoiler section where I'm just going to discuss a couple of things that I did not like about the novel just so that anyone who's already read it can respond to me and we can have a really good discussion because I know a lot of people love this book. So first things first, I want to show you what I really liked about this book. I like the cover. I think it really has to do with the story. I really really liked the illustrations. So it's watercolor illustration so I'm going to try to find a page that's not very spoilery so for example this is what the art is like I love the illustrations I it makes me really want to read more graphic novels and another thing I didn't mention before is that there's a story within the story so I'm going to show you the art from that story because I really liked the art in that story so for example this Just overall, artistically, this is an amazing, beautiful work of art. As I mentioned, there's a story within the story in this book, and I really liked that concept. I didn't quite get how it fully integrated into the main plot line, but I was happy it was there, and it really reminded me of a Grimm's fairy tale that I recently read in my book that was compiled by Philip Pullman. I don't have the book with me, so I'm going to leave an annotation here that says which fairy tale it reminds me of. I really enjoyed the first three quarters or first half of the book. I really liked the way it looked at Nao's psychological state of mind and how she dealt with her issues and her urges and I, I thought that was very well done and really interesting. Like I said, I liked just hearing the thoughts in Nao's head. Now on to what I didn't like. The first thing is that I didn't find we really got to know any of the characters very well. I felt that a lot of things were glossed over. Something happens about halfway, three quarters of the way through the novel and it's definitely a major event. It definitely affected all of the characters but I don't find that the aftermath of this event was properly explained or even how the aftermath affected their lives was explained. I felt that the ending itself felt very rushed and we are told what happened as opposed to shown. I think that an important aspect of storytelling is showing as opposed to telling. Specifically about the characters that I didn't find were well developed was Gregory's storyline. I just felt that we were told in a way that I didn't really enjoy why he acts the way he acts. So overall, that's what I didn't like about the book. As you can tell, I have significant problems with the storyline, but at the same time, I don't want this to deter you from reading the book because I know a lot of people love this book. And I did grade it, I did rate it three stars. I did like it. I just find that the problems kind of outweigh the good aspects of it, in my opinion. I definitely think you should read this if you like graphic novels because the artwork is beautiful and the storyline is actually very captivating. I found I flew through the book and I really enjoyed my experience of reading it. So I still recommend it to you, especially if you like graphic novels. Now I just want to bring up some specific things that really bugged me that are going to be spoilery. And if you haven't read the book, stop, re stop watching now because you'll be annoyed that you find out some things. First of all, I really didn't understand why 
there was no mention about Nao's accident really after it happened. I felt like we just go from her lying on the street to four years later and everything has worked out by now and it just didn't really make much sense and I don't understand how she got over that and how she dealt with having her son. Also with Gregory, I never really, I don't understand why he ended up writing a book. I just, it didn't, it felt kind of out of character and it felt like a lazy way of explaining his story by showing those chapters from his book. I also didn't like that we completely forgot about Steve. He just leaves the picture and I really liked Steve and I would have liked to hear more of his story but I understand that there's a limited time frame but I just I would have liked to know how things go with him. I know it ends with him in his store but anyway. If you like this review I hope you comment down below and let me know what you guys thought of the book. I, I know several of my Goodreads friends have read it so I'm really hoping you're gonna um, let me know why I'm wrong because I so wanted to love this, but I felt it lacking in many ways So I hope you guys enjoyed this review and I'll see you guys soon